Get that microphone, Jeff. I feel like I'm gonna spill this. I like spill everything. I'm the cringiest person. Yeah. 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 It's pretty dope. All right, we're all good. We're all ready. Yes, sir. We need a shot. It's also Life podcast, the most authentic, most organic. Make sure you get your cup because it's a special episode Q and A with everybody. I got you. I got you. That's, that's my designated Got it. Okay. Stop on the V1. Bam. He's like, I don't want to stop. It's just a bottle. Just take a bottle. My cup is full. Like, legit, yeah, my cup is full. I got one. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you like, I don't know. Nah, you have, yes. I, have, I feel happy that is. But does that make sense? Nah, you it? can't mix it. You can't mix Why it. Why not? Nah, you can't. You can't. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Make sure you guys are subscribing. Make sure you guys are sharing because we out here doing this damn thing in L.A. with one, two, three, four, five, six amazing people. Hey, <laughs> nine, ten, 10, du- 21 Savage, shout out. But he's host, everybody, real quick. Bam, we got this done. Just to get the blood flowing. The homie Pep- toast, the homie toast. <laughs> Fuck it, those bitches. Oh, Yeah. That's good. How are we all doing? We're all good? Wow. We're good? Emotionally, I don't know, but we're doing good. Hanging in there. <laughs> hanging in, hanging in. <laughs> yes. All right, so we're going to go one by one. God damn it. <laughs> like, this is like the reading shit at school because I sucked at that shit. Yeah, popcorn, popcorn, yeah, popcorn reading. Yeah, yeah. I, I think we've we've all gone through like things at school. We're just like, damn, fool. Like, That's not. <laughs> I want you to read out loud for the whole class. I'm like. No, but like I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying I got like third reading I fucking. Love reading. <laughs> <laughs> I, used I used to be the I used to be the kid where uh, you know I would raise my hand. Who wants to read? I'll start. I, you, I, you look like that one kid. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh heck no! I was the one that was like I would count. I'm like, oh shit, this is my paragraph. Yes. Let me read it ahead of time. Make sure I don't stutter. Make sure I know every single word. Like the thing was just they you're, you're like you fuck up, and it's like the next paragraph over that you didn't study. You're like, like you're you're reading it. You're reading it ahead. Like uh, who wants to read next? I got this. I got this. <laughs> The thing was that you, it's not that you didn't know how to read. It's just the fucking pressure. You're like, Apple? Cat? Cat? Nah, so, the, <laughs> so we, we're, we're doing the icebreakers because we're all nervous. I know we're all nervous. It was unexpected. Uh, you guys were not ready. I would have brought my little... <laughs> Mr. Pepote. <laughs> Popote. <laughs> ¿Por, qué le, ¿Por qué le dicen popote? A ver. So... No, I watch. Pa- pass the mic to to Mr. Pepe out here. First time out here with us. What am I gonna answer? Well, Mr. Pepe, thank you know. for showing up today. First day. You know, you're hired. I don't know what you're hired for, but you're hired. Yeah, I'll, I'll be hired. <laughs> take another job. But the reason why we just called him Popote, <laughs> <laughs> we just made that nickname up right now. They just, they Mr. Mr. Up, Mr. Like, Brian made it up. He's like, wait, why Pepe? Why not Pe- Pepito? I was like, why not Popote? Oh, <laughs> so Popote. So Popote stuck. They, you know? Some people, when I you do, too. when you get a Popote on a drink, what do you do? Chupa. Suck from me. No, we don't use straws. We save the planet. <laughs> we care about the turtles. We care about the turtles. So, I mean, let's start off. Pepe, how you doing, dog? Dude, I'm great. I'm what great. what has 2022 brought to you? The good and then the bad. So we go one by one. I'm gonna be honest. 2022 has only been good so far. So hopefully it stays that way. Um, 2022. Yeah, I mean, I got a new job in March. So that congratulations. Was good. Thank you, thank you. Um, pretty much started that. Then moved positions. Maybe like. A month and a half in. And then uh, last week, I actually heard I was going to get a raise and like a promotion. So, oh, shit. you know what? This episode Thanks. is sponsored by Pepe. Thank you so much, Pepe. Pepe el Popote. Popote. It's Popote. <laughs> Popote. Popote. <laughs> Popote. <laughs> Pepe el Popote. Wait, what? From Popotes all over the world. Straws. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, yo. Okay. Hey, okay. Okay. Genesis came firing, dog. Yeah, damn, take, but the, take the couple with, from her hands. with everything good, Pepe. There has to be something bad. So, what was the bad that got out of your life 
that everything turned out good. La tóxica. That's one of you, Dylan. Nah. That's one of you, <laughs> Dylan. Nah, that's nah, one nah. of you, Dylan. Don't take. That's not your turn. I was speaking for him. Dylan. Dylan, shut the fuck up. It was just my mindset, just changing my mindset. Um, I was kind of like pretty negative, like all of 2021. And then towards the end, my dad decided to retire, which pretty much meant that I was going to have to like be stepping up and paying like a lot of the bills and all this stuff for them. Um, so that's pretty much what changed. Like he retired and I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Like you shouldn't be doing it. And then one day I had a conversation uh, with my sister, actually, out of all people. And she was telling me, like, at the end of the day, like, your dad raised you, like, X amount of years. Like, you kind of owe it to him. And I was like, you know what? I don't really owe it to him, but I'm going to pay it back. Like, he did all he could, like, to provide for me and my sister for, like, X amount of years. That I said, you know what? Maybe I should change my mindset. Like, maybe I shouldn't be so resentful. And so just changing that, like, honestly made, the, like, the end of 2021 good. And then I guess it allowed for the good to come into my life, you know? Like, I was pretty negative. And Wait. then once I changed the mindset, like, everything started going good. You, you spoken into existence, so when we got into the new year, you weren't just the one that said, well, 2022 was my year. You really made it your year. year. Yeah. So you're proud of yourself for doing that? I think so. I think, uh... Nah, we're changing. we got to change it. we got to change it, big dog. So, if you're going to say, I think so, that means you have a doubt. If you have a doubt, you got to say it. It's just, I know I can do better, you know? And we always can. But I just, am I proud that I made such, like, an improvement in my life in, like, such a short amount of time? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I was just stuck. I was complacent for, like, I don't know, like, 10 years, you know? Um, That once everything started going good, I improved, like, exponentially. That's that's dope, bro. So I am proud that I'm making an improvement and like such a speedy improvement because apparently it takes like years for people to get like raises and promotions, and I'm doing it what like six six months in. You're you're living in your power and your capability. I guess. Get on the compa. Get on the compa. He wants another drink. He wants another drink. It's so for everybody knowing right now, we are podcasting in downtown LA where we usually do. But we're in an open space today, so anybody that's able to walk in, we got, we got fans walking can by. see us, dog. So shout out to all those people. Yeah, but like yeah, but you mean winners. Let's go with that. Let's go with Wait, that. We're winners. let's switch over to Ashley. Why losers? Right, Ashley, let's go. Ashley, let's go. why losers? Ashley, take the mic. That's what they, no, that's, that's what they think. They're the losers. That's what they think. The that's losers. what I'm saying. They're out there thinking we're losers, but all right. We know. So, Ashley. How are you? I'm good. I'm kind of hosting today, so I'm hosting all six, all five of you people. But 2021 and 2022, what's your biggest takeaway and your biggest, so your biggest blessing and your most negative from this year? Um, My biggest blessing? Yeah. That you didn't know you needed. Oh, it has definitely been like my change of mindset. Like, um, I think I always like doubted myself like on my... Just like my smarts, I guess I want to say. Um, I'll, I'll just say the smarts, um, because honestly, guys, I'm really smart. <laughs> she's studious. No, I'm really People, smart. People, she's studious <laughs> as well. No, I'm really smart, you guys. I, I really am smart. I know I just like play the part, but I'm really, really smart. So like, I'm in school right now. So that's like probably been my biggest blessing. And then, what was the other question? I was street smart. Your. <laughs> that's what I meant. I'm your, just kidding. Oh, shit. So you're. One was your biggest blessing, and then so, um, what you took away from 2021 to change to 2022. I think in 2021, I was still very hopeful of, like, things that were not going to happen in my life. Um, well, one, I'm going to, like, specifically say, like, regarding, like, love. Like, I was yeah. very hopeful of, like, a certain relationship that I thought, like, okay, in 2022, we'll make it work. And then we just did not make it work in 2022. And I think that was, like, the biggest blessing in disguise for me was it not working. That I yeah. was, like, it literally put me, like, in a mindset that I was, like, why am I waiting for somebody else to, like, figure this out? Like, why do I want this person to be the one person that I'm going to, like, go through life with when I can just go through life but with myself. myself? And, like, I'm my one person. Like, let's just do it. Hashtag loner. Hashtag single life. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag. <laughs> 
I'm not. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. All right, so. No, so, I don't care. Well, I'm, like, I'm like very like happily single s- s- in yeah, life because so, I think it's. I mean, it's. I, I'm not saying like, oh, it's fun, but it's definitely like. I don't have anybody to like. It's not fun, but it's peaceful. It's yeah, yeah. There's like a a very a very very in the back. back, back All right, back so back my mind. <laughs> that's like very. So, so let's hold that conversation there because I'm, we're gonna go back to this, but let's pass it over to Oscar, Oscar. Mr. Oscar. First time out here with us. First time. I'm blessed. He he thinks this is the first time we meet, but it's not the first time we meet because. We went to school together, big dog. I remember. I'm so good. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very, people think I forget a lot, which I really do. Don't tell me your birthday because I'll forget it real quick. <laughs> but, you know, we got, we're sitting here. Full circle, right? We're back Fuck, here again. Fucking full circle, dog. I'm not going to lie. Hey, I'm very appreciative to be here. As nah, well. man, I appreciate uh, you. I appreciate everybody that's here. You, Ashley, uh, Jose. Pepe. <laughs> Pepe el popote. Jose. 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 Obviously, my, my, well, today my left hand is Dylan. On the right hand is, is Genesis. But full circle. So, for the people that are going to listen in to this, because if you posted this, now people are curious of what you just said. Yeah. So the thing about this podcast, and we all know about this, is whatever you say right now, people don't know what you said, so they're going to tune in no matter what. Mm-hmm. Right? They want to know what the fuck you you what just talked about. There? Yeah, what are you doing there? there? What are you talking about? What you what did you bring up? Yeah. 2021 to 2022, what was your biggest loss and then your biggest blessing? I mean, <laughs> she was my biggest <laughs> blessing. <laughs> She's, he's all like, fucking. Uh, no, he's like, 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 Sorry, Oscar. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead, Oscar. Right. Fucking Dylan is talking out of his ass. the same as Pepote said. Um. Pepote. Oh, it's not even Popote, popote anymore. It's Pepote. It's Pepe el Popote. Hey, you're going to have to show us on the OF, big guy. <laughs> Patreon, but, we're coming soon. But as far... <laughs> Let me turn mine on. Let me turn mine on. Oh, that wasn't you. That wasn't you. That was a different person. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to Oscar. Let's bring it back to Oscar. We'll we'll bring it back. Serious. Oh God. Serious. Serious. I cannot be serious. You fucking know me. All right. Biggest blessing. Biggest. Biggest. Uh, downfall. Yeah. I mean, for me. Uh, Going into the year, exactly a year ago, well, I got a new job, too. So, from the new job that I got, I used to work at a minimum wage job. Congratulations. I'm like a fucking loser, to be honest. I was like, what the fuck am I doing in my life type shit? I got a new job. In that one year, which is about to be on September 7th, so a couple Almost days. there, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, through, the, through that year, I pretty much got, like, a big raise for my new job. And that year that I've been working at my new job, like, likewise, too, like, say, like, uh, my race went so much higher. And, like, I'm blessed for that. Thanks. And uh, a learning lesson is just even, like, Ashley said, like, yeah, just, uh, yeah. yeah, like, just depending on people, just not, like, you you wish to make it hopeful with some certain people. Yeah. And try to work things out and stuff like that. And you try your best. Thanks. And, uh you could only do so much before you like, you know what, like before you realize, like you, and then yeah. it just starts fucking with your conscience, and you're like, you know what, like this is not healthy, this is not mentally wise, it's not. Not it. Rather be a loner, <laughs> what you said, and I was watching one of, one of her videos from her uh, something about like you got to go through shit by yourself, you gotta. You Shout gotta out go it to the you know? podcast. Shout out to <laughs> the podcast. I got you. <laughs> But it, you know, it's but you know what I mean, stuff like that. But I mean, other than that, like I really can't complain about my situation. As long as I got family, health, 
and shelter, food, stuff like that. You're good. To me, other stuff, like, of course, it affects you, but, like, once you really backtrack into what the real, like, what you really got, yeah. it's like, as long as you got the main things, all the bullshit is just, like, extra shit. And we all kind of just, we get so shallow into stupid shit that we're not, sh we shouldn't even be stressing, That's, you know? Not the and claves, then, not the claves. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not the claves, yeah, yeah. Not the, the, as much as it's a, sorry to cut you off, Oscar, but it, it's as much as it's a, it's a ongoing thing to say, like, it's the most truthful because there's so much shit that you're going to go through. You can think about it day after day after day after day. You're going to go through some bad shit, yeah. right? Pepe, you were saying earlier that, you know, you waited so long in, in order to get into your own fucking lane. But it's like, yo, like, if you think about all that, like, at the same time, you got to think about, like, damn, we landed in our path at the right time. If we would have landed in this path months ago when we weren't ready... It's called perfect timing. Yeah, it would. We wouldn't even. We would not be here. Yeah, we wouldn't. We would not be here. In that, you know, you may have showed up and yeah, may gone through it, but to be at your at your best, you may think right now you may not be at your best, but you're you're definitely you're listening to this message at your best form, at the most needed form. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not trying to be here, Doctor Phil and shit, but. You know what I'm saying? But Dr. <laughs> Phil, what's up, dog? <laughs> I got you. Let, let me sit in the chair real quick. But I know my boy Dylan, I mean, we talk about this behind closed doors, but. On like a daily fucking basis. Yeah, we really do. Mm, every motherfucking day. The toughest out of 2022 and the biggest thing out of 2022. Oh, God. Um, I'll start with the, the good things, the positive things. Okay. Which Next. is the environment. I'm in. But you, big guy, I fucking love you, dog. Mm -hmm. Especially with you guys, too, obviously, with this podcast, the people that have been on the podcast. Low key. <laughs> bring me the shades. Bring me the shades. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, the good thing about 2020, we're in 2022, right? 2022. Um, it's just the environment, bro, the positivity that has been in my life. Um, obviously, you came in my life before 2022. We didn't come in until now. You know, let's get. He's still demasiado, but not that way. No, I'm playing, but dude, it's just a lot of positive things has happened. We didn't come into our uh, church live until this year, actually. Exactly. Um, so you, you guys barely just met each other this year? Yeah, yeah. No, sure. So. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm no, I'm I, I, I picked them yeah, up I'm at Home Depot. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I needed help. So nah. <laughs> We, we <laughs> he needed real quick. He, he needed help taking the keys and then the. Nah, Stop it, you guys. nah we we me and Dylan met 2018. No, bro, no, I graduated. Nah, fuck it. Oh, so 2018. Bitch, I knew you since high school. I don't get nah. High school don't count though, because I could I could say I knew Ashley since high school, but I didn't know her. Oh, you didn't know me, know me. Okay. After yeah, I graduated, I know 20, 18, 18. Piece of shit, you were. Who was it? Okay, so <laughs> for y'all that you probably, you, they probably know. Yeah, she was literally, literally just talking, talking about me. I literally was like a piece of shit in high school. Were you? I was not nice. Like I was like nice. Honestly, she I she really wasn't. Not yeah, playing. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was nice. Honestly, I wouldn't have even not noticed because even the first time I met her, she was so welcoming. Like, yeah. I didn't. Oh, my God. She was such a bitch. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. But she didn't know that. So yeah, I, didn't, I would have not recognized oh, that yeah. now, knowing her now. You know? Well, him, I fucking, for the people that don't know, I hated the fuck out of this dude. We said it like in fucking fight podcast if no I one has it. listened. I'm going to ask you guys this. Don't you feel like the people that you don't get along at first, you guys end up being best friends in yeah. some type of way? Or like. Nah, some, for sure. Some type of like, mm. damn, Oscar, what the fuck? Coming out with some <laughs> good questions. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you know what? Like, my, I think right now the the biggest blessing that I have had is one being in the round that I'm in that I'm able to have these type of conversations with everybody here, right? And you got to have a certain type of mentality in order to sustain them, but <sighs> also see the type of people you have around you, which. I already knew this guy next to me was a blessing because of what we've been doing the last couple months here in L.A., but I didn't really see the blessing in a sense. I didn't really see it 
until I went through my hardship, and then he, from the motor. So out of both of us, I'm the motor. I'm the motivator, right? Like I'm the one that I gotta be vocal. I gotta I gotta be the one that has to say shit. And wait, do you feel that way, Dylan? No, yeah, 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 yeah. But number three is yeah. <laughs> nah, because I think we've we've had those conversations like, hey, fool, like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Like, hey, you got to take care of yourself, right? Because he's learning, I'm learning. Like, I'm not saying, oh, I'm the one that knows already. Nah, I still fuck up a lot. So I could have fucked up two months, two weeks ago. And this guy was literally, and I'll tell you right now, this guy was the one that when we're driving here, we're about to park. He's like, look, big guy. He always says, look, big guy. Always says that we're big guy. That's kind of shameful, but whatever. He's a, he's a, big, he's a big guy. <laughs> he was like, look, every time I come to the podcast, I block everything else that's going wrong, and I'm and I'm good with. Like, once we walk in, it doesn't matter. We're good for the next couple hours. The whole fucking world could be burning, and I'm still good. And we're still good. So, I mean, when I picked him up, I had my glasses on, I was crying, and then boom, we got here. I knew he we was did crying. It, we didn't... F- we didn't fucking miss. Actually, you were here to this. We didn't miss. We had a great podcast after it hit. And then, yeah, this guy fucking hugged me. And it was like one of those things that, like, damn, this kid that's fucking 23 is figuring this shit out. We're all figuring this shit out. But if you're figuring this shit out and then you come up to me and you're telling me I'm good, to me it's like, damn, fool, like, like, that's crazy to me. To me, it's like, all right, now, now, now I'm in debt for the rest of my life. <laughs> to that extreme. So, Facts. I mean, he knows it for sure. Like, no, this is going to be not going nowhere. And yo, whatever you need for, I got this. Like, I got myself, but I also got you. And it, what, what made me realize was my shit was burning. I'm alone. I felt alone. I was in my darkest place in the world. And this kid said, I got you. Don't worry. Even though my shit was burning too. I'm like, damn. I'm like, this fucking, fucking I'm like, this fucking guy got me. That's what it takes though. Support. And Support. When you never knew you needed. And a week prior, same thing with Ashley. So what I'm trying to say for everybody listening in, right? I'm just trying, I'm bringing back all to you guys, is you're gonna get those people that you already know are with you, but you're gonna get the most random of moments when those people are gonna remind you of how great you are. And how much they love you and how much they support you and how much they ride with you. Because the conversation sparked up, I think, a week prior to Francisco. We had the conversation. Like, dude, you remember a year ago we were pot? I was like, yeah, I remember. And then. Oh. oh. Okay, fuck me, right? No, no, no. Go ahead. No, I just want to. She said, cortenle ya, ya estuvo. No, 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 no. I just want to. I want to bounce off that because um, he brought up Francisco. He actually said something that, like really like marinated in my head um because one thing i do is i i, I self-isolate a lot oh. um my thing is i rather she does. <laughs> shut up she really does i know i ghosted him for a while <laughs> so i ghosted him for a while um but one thing is i do self-isolate a lot and that's my biggest problem but he did say you have people around you that love you utilize them use them yeah. you know like yeah. they're there for you and ever since he said that like that's been stuck in back of my head so shout out to francisco because <laughs> that was really that really helped me like especially within the last couple of weeks i've been feeling overwhelmed and um my thing is i just go to my room lock the door that's it like no one talks to me my family doesn't bother me and i just knew it like i was coming home from work and i was like i'm gonna go home and just lock myself in the room mm-hmm. and after i remember what he said called up my friend and i was like i'm coming over i was like i can't be home because if i do i'm gonna break down got there first thing he did was hug me i broke down and i was like i'm like that damn you, right i needed that that's all i needed nah that that's some yeah, real shit because that's like one of the things sorry to cut you off but yeah. there's a microphone that's, there's a oh, microphone come that's on one of the please things that, like um you're not I, a like, rookie picked up from you like since like a long time ago that you've posted like um like all you have to do is like hug someone right and like i know you yeah. hug your guy friends all the time your like witness last week, yeah. two weeks ago. <laughs> and that's, like, one of the things that I've, like, picked up from him that's, like, literally a hug will, like, give you just that sense of whatever you didn't know you needed. Like, it, like, fills a void that, you, you know, yeah. it was not even there, but now it was there and it was fulfilled by that one hug. Yeah. So, I literally, every time that, like, Luis gives me a hug or, like, we say hi or we say bye or whatever, like, the love that you feel in that one hug, it's, it, like, does it, you know? It's crazy because, you know, the last couple of weeks, like, 
you know, if if my sister listens to this, hopefully she does. I mean, we have our, we've had our issues, which will we do, yeah. right? Because we're we're slightly different, but we're the same. And she took she took the initiative of hugging me yesterday, and it was just a tight one. I was like, yeah. "Fuck, dog, yeah. I'm gonna hug you." My thing is, ah, fuck, I don't want to cry, bitch. I don't want to hug you. <laughs> I don't, like, don't want to cry you. Right I don't want to cry you. But, but my thing is, like, even when Dylan hugged me, it's like when you get a hug from whoever it may be and you feel safe. Because mm-hmm. I could trace this back to I told him for two when I lost my uncle. I didn't cry with nobody. No one in the world can talk to me and I'm not going to cry with you because you all I hear is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't give a shit. And then one of my cousins, shout out Junior, came over. I mean, this kid came from Baldwin Park all the way up to the 805 up north. Shout out to the 805. And he came up to me. They didn't even say a word, just fucking hugged me. Damn, cry like a baby. He's like, I got you, dog, I got you. So what I take that into everybody now is like, hey, whatever you're going through, I got this. So whatever you're feeling, pass it over to me. I got this. I can handle this. I can handle whatever is coming my way because I know I'm going to survive. I'm a survivor. Mm-hmm. We act out of survival mode. Yeah. We don't We don't act out of just, oh, it is what it is. Yeah, it's fun. Mm-hmm. Nah, man. If I know you're going through your demons and battling, all right, give them to me. I got this. I want you to live life the way you need to, right? Like, I think that's why we got closer this year, why me and Pepe started having better conversations, bigger conversations, me and you start having big conversations, and why me and this guy got closer together, you know? And there's a reason how you said full circle, Oscar, why we're here together, because now we're having a conversation. Yeah, for sure. And for everybody listening in is, yo, find those people. It may not be the ones that you have right now, but it's going to be the ones that are in a different path that you're like, you're looking at them crazy, and maybe those are the ones that you got to be around yeah. because you got to get out of the comfort zone. Mm-hmm. If you stay in the comfort zone, Not growing. you're going to stay there for a while. I, I mean, we are all still young, but at the age we're all in, bro, we got to grind. We don't want to wait until X amount of years later to be like, well, I think I can start now. No. And, yeah. and that's already too late. Imagine if you would have started months ago. Then where where you would have been at this point, day and age, and even months, even a a month, two, three, four, five, I don't even know. But I've had people that, man, if I would have told me when you told when you started to start too, I would have been where you're at. I'm like, yeah, you may have been, but your grind is just different. Mm-hmm. My grind is different. I'm willing to sacrifice more than what you're willing to sacrifice. That's why I'm sitting here, and I'm sitting with amazing people, mm-hmm. because without amazing people like you guys, shit, this would have been hard. This would have been definitely hard. I would have been like, damn, fool, what the fuck am I doing? Never you mind. Do a Q&A by yourself. Do a Q&A <laughs> and be yeah, like, all right, like, guys, how are you doing today? I'm here. I'm good. <laughs> he's, 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 he's like, how are you doing today? I'm doing uh, how are you how doing? <laughs> Bro, they woke up first thing, McDonald's? McDonald's? That was, that was uh, my niece. Have, 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 all right, money? have kids now or have kids later? Later. Oh, later. Later, Later, bro. Don't mess with the microphone, said they. Please. We can't afford another one. Later. Later. Have kids later for sure. Okay. Why? I want to be economically stable because kids are expensive, dude. Like, I have two nieces, one nephew, (laughs) and they're expensive. Like, I can't can't afford to be a dad right now, you know? Retweet. (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Same, though. (laughs) Retweet. Uh, yeah, no, same. Repost. No, right. <laughs> <laughs> like and share. <laughs> like and share. <laughs> mention you on the story. <laughs> no, I agree. If you don't mention, you're f- you're a sucker. You're a sucker. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Nah, you got to call people out on their own shit. What do you mean? Why? Wait, wait, wait. What, what, how, Why are they a sucker? Shots? Like repost and not mention, or what do you mean? Yeah. Because it, like no, it doesn't. Same? No, if you don't, if you don't tag them, it won't come out. I always tag. Yeah, that's always tag, you know? Wait, so if you look, posted, does it come out? No way. I didn't know that. Look, I, <laughs> look for everybody everybody watching, for everybody tag. watching, if, if you like what somebody said, don't be ashamed to tag them and to share it. 
They're not gonna look at you differently. Yeah, they're not gonna look at you differently. Don't be ashamed, Bubba. Don't be ashamed. Bubba, yeah. Bubba. I don't know, but Bubba, it sounds <laughs> right. Bubba Sparks. Oh, shout out, it. shout out, Mr. Abel, 805 buddy, my cousin out there, Mr. Bubba. But don't be ashamed. Shout them out. What are they gonna? What's the worst someone's gonna tell you? Why do you share them? Because I fucking wanted to. Per. Per. Period. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah. explain, explain <laughs> first. <laughs> explain with first. <laughs> I've literally been seeing it for like two weeks. No, I, I don't know, know why though. Like it just comes out. Like I'm just I like. Just heard, I, I, today's the first time I heard that, and I was like, per. Per. Every time you say that, I feel like say woo. Per my last email. <laughs> per. Woo. 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 No, no. Like I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. We're like meow. Yeah. Woo. Meow. Dogs out. I'm stupid enough because I think someone. Well, I think it was you. I think it was you. You, were, I posted something. I posted something like inspirational on my story. Oh, wow. I think it was you. You replied with "per," and I was like, "Oh, probably." Yes, yeah. it was. I was like, I don't know why you do that. I'm just like, "Per." You're the like, fuck do you're you? Like, you're like, "Bitch, I'm a dog." Oof. Dude, to be honest, I because I'll, I'll, I'll reply with some stupid shit. Shout out to Migos. Yeah. I will reply with some stupid <laughs> shit, bro. I'll bark at. That. I'll put the fucking. I'll, you know, I'll bark on that bitch, you know. But I just liked it to not fucking embarrass myself. I just. I just liked it twice. Yeah, I was like, so kids now or later? Oh, yeah, kids. Fuck, right now, baby girl, let's go. Right, so now I'm playing. Now or later, or is, there, or is there such thing as a right time? There's never going to be a right time. Yeah. Because you can never be prepared for a kid. It just, it's going to happen, and you fucking step up, or you don't step up. I'll you tell know? you this, though. If you have a kid when you're older, you lose a lot of time, like, playing, like, catch or shit like that, because you're going to be old, you know? Like, by the time they're, like, certain age, like, they're just going to... You're not gonna want to do shit with them, you know. You're just gonna be like, I mean, there might. Hey, go play Xbox or shit, whatever. You know, you're not gonna do like whatever. Let's pass it over to Pepe. Pepe, Pepe, el. I was gonna say Pepe, el pepino. Pepe, Pepe, el popote. Damn, pepino, pepote. Wow, popote. Y'all, y'all just need to chill, dude. No, I mean, I get, I get what Oscar's saying about the missing time with your kids growing up, but at the same time, there's, uh, there's a lot of people that have kids young who don't spend time with their kids because they have to grind. So it's more of like, at least from what I'm like, from an outsider looking in, mm-hmm. I see it as like, I guess sometimes you got to give up time to make the kids' lives like experiences better, you know? Yeah. So I feel like I just, yeah. All right, quality, let me ask you. Quality over quantity Let me sometimes. ask you one thing now. For you, it might be for me, go. everyone. Shoot. What's the perfect age for you to have kids? Damn, bitch! What the fuck are you doing? Damn, that's good. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, dude. <laughs> as as yeah. what he was saying. So when did you ever say that? There's no, there's not, there's never a right time. But they're an age. I mean, fuck. But, yeah, what's you like know. a proper age for you? Because you're like, fuck. I want to be forty, and I'll be able to fucking. I'll nah, throw I'm the thinking, ball, thinking, and I'll, I'll dislocate my shoulder. Like fuck. I'm thinking <laughs> thirty. Dylan, that is Dylan, ready to do that. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, dude. I'm sh- in the next two years. Dylan's trying to celebrate Father's Day next year. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Who we got? Who we got months? Say, I was going to say We got something. exactly I'm nine saying. months until Father's Day, guys. Girls. Right. Genesis has a mic, so what's the right age? Um, the, the damn mic. <laughs> no. Get our audio male? quality good. Um, I feel like females mature a lot faster. Definitely. No, like, no, but I feel like a lot of, because, I mean, at least as Hispanic, you're raised as, oh, you have to be the woman, you know? You have to take care. You have to, yeah. I don't think there's a right age. Me, personally, at first, I always wanted kids young because of the whole Mexican, like, oh, you know, you got to have them young. And now that I'm growing older and I'm like, working on myself and then like just no not just that fuck like um uh, <laughs> i was gonna say fuck the kids swallow so what's age i i don't think there's a the right age i think um i feel like our generation right now is taking a lot longer to have kids because we're realizing our parents mistakes or like mm. we're realizing like first generations here like we have a lot of struggle. We have a lot of trauma that we don't know. Like, yeah. let's be real. We all got hit as kids. Hispanic, you know? Oh, no, I think so. But it's like you don't realize until you're older, like, hey, wait. <laughs> like, you know, there's a, there's a certain limit to it. I, I didn't but get hit. I, I got feel like our generation is starting to 
embrace mental health more. Yeah. So yeah. it's like okay. especially in the me- Hispanic. Hispanic, yeah, very in a sp- Hispanic. It's like very. We're all Hispanic here. We all know how it is. I mean, you know? I feel like they. They, without wanting to, they teach you something. Like, obviously, yes. like you said, we all got hit. So, so now that you have yeah. kids, like, fuck, I'm not going to hit my kids. I do want to say that, like, because I was pregnant, I lost the baby when I was um, six months-ish pregnant. Um, like, now that I think about it, I think, like, of course I would have made it with the baby, right? Because you figure it out as mm-hmm. a human as you go. being. Yeah, you figure that shit out, right? You, like, You find a way. To, you find, you find a, way. a way, right? But then, like, now that I... But then I also think about it, and I'm like, girl, I was not, like, mentally capable of raising a child. Like, I had to go through the loss to understand that, like, my mentality was not it. My job was not it. Like, my placing, I was not at the right, that was not the right time for me. So, my loss was a blessing in disguise for sure. Can I tell you something? Go. Hurt people hurt You ready? (laughs) I know, because I'll cry. I know. (laughs) But... As much as you just said that right now, I disagree with you. I'm going to disagree with you because of who you are as a person is why we're around certain people and why we we enjoy your time around us. You've been in this podcast, a part of this movement for the longest time, and your energy has always been undeniably amazing. So with that being said, you say you may not been at the right time. But as much as a great friend as you are to us and a great person you are to us, you would have been such an amazing mom um, to I, that baby. Yeah, and, yeah. and and you know what? Like, with that being said, like, yo, f- your flowers. Mm-hmm. Because anybody that's friends with you knows what you bring to this table. Sure. That's why people... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that That... <laughs> yeah. Oof. Woof. He said me out. <laughs> no fucking way. Bro. That that that's why people bring you around and want you around. Shout out Molly, all the way in the eight oh five now. But well, she's in the six two six right now. Anyways. <laughs> she's part oh, of the eight oh five. But uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we just we just got it transferred. We just got it transferred hey, It just came through. But uh I was like, yeah, hey, nah, um, you know, like it's those things that I know you don't give yourself credit. I don't. So I'm going to do it right now in front of everybody, in front of us here, in front of this camera, that that you are amazing, that because of who you are, we feel so much love. And when we're in denial of who we are, you're the one that's going to bring us back to, hey, you are this. So you got to give yourself those flowers that as, as much as you think you're, you were not good at that time, Dude, you would have been the most amazing. Yeah. Let's go. You have to. Um, thank you, everyone. Per, <laughs> per, per. I just said per. Per. Meow. Anybody got the monkey sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, no, I know. Like, I agree with everything you're saying, but I also think that. Nah, like, but don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, don't no. do that. No. So look, do that everybody, time, everybody I listening in. Show when someone that. gives you a compliment, never say but. but. Never do that. Take the compliment, run with it because I they know. just did it out of love and, and out I of like do care. Do. Don't do that because if you say but, you disrespected them. I agree. Don't disrespect me right now. Her. <laughs> Per, thank you. I'll start barking anytime you say her. Woo Let's go. You're a chihuahua, fool. Relax. <laughs> hey, those are the toughest ones. <laughs> I'll run up on the motherfucker. Let's go. All right, so, be, all right, so transitioning. Let, let's change gears. Boom, 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 right? We're in third. We're in, right we're in third. We're <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> he, hey, but you have to step on the clutch fucking deep, bro. You hate this car where you left the clutch? Dude, I bought, a, I bought a manual fucking challenger. I didn't even know how to fucking drive out of the line. <laughs> He's like, thank you. Congratulations on your purchase. Thank you, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, what's going, what's going on? I called my cousin A4. I don't know how to drive a stick. What do you mean? If I just bought a car stick, they got to know how to drive. <laughs> I'm waiting. Calling the dealership. I was starting at the fucking light turn to the freeway. Oh. It's like, fuck, dog. Fuck, what, what, what's going on? What about YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, whatever, whoever, went I'm, whoever went on my whoever went on my side during those times, they caught me fucking yeah. stalling. They stalling on the. I'm like, fuck. by the time the fucking the, the clutch is burnt as fuck already, you already get home like. But I'm already burned for what the fuck is wrong. I, I meant the clutch, not you, bitch. <laughs> I'm like we're both the same. True love exists. Let's throw that out. True love exists. Okay, wait. So I seen that one post, or I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it of your three true loves, right? Have you seen seen that? that. It's like your first love. Your first love is like your uh, like a your young love. Your young love, and then it's like your true love. The one that teaches you something. The lesson. I for sure have gone through the first two. Definitely, for sure, have gone through the first two. Explain. Okay, so my first, my first. What's the first two? Oh, my first true love, or the one that I thought was my first true love, definitely was like puppy love, like high, high school, school sweetheart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was like that. What the fuck? What, and then like girlfriend in high school. The hope, I, I feel like the hope was like there for a while, right? Until you like level up differently, like mentally and stuff, and then you meet the next person, right? So then my second true love, quote unquote, mm-hmm. definitely taught me lessons, like no doubt about that, like. Girl, it was not it. Feel you. It was it. It was it while it was it. But then Purr. when it wasn't, it wasn't. Per. Per. <laughs> per. Because I'm on the third one right now. What's up? No. What's the, nah, I'm playing. No, no, so I'm playing I definitely feel you. like my no, third the will up. be like the one that I hope. I hope shut that my third will be the one that's it. But yeah, true love. But I, I, I agree. Like five true loves though. No, wait, it's wait, only three. We're going to pass it to Oscar. No, Michael, Oscar. Oscar. I'm just kidding. You're toxic. You're toxic. No, Oscar's actually, toxic. Actually, <laughs> red flags. I'm toxic. All right. This is this is the last question before we get into red flags. So, actually, stop talking real quick. Because you're you're already being red flag right now. <laughs> True love, Oscar? Me? As, I'm just kidding. As <laughs> red flag, Ashley. Can you re- rephrase that question as a... As a Wait, hold on for everybody else because I... I know Luis knows me and I'll be today in junior high. That was nothing. That's nothing, though. That's nothing. It's like, it's like, it's like me saying, I'm like, it's like me saying, I'm going to bring my, my, my fucking junior high or elementary crush love right here. Oh man, remember when I told you. my first love. Remember when I want to tell you I wanted to marry you? Remember that? Remember that? You're toxic, she's guys. She's, Ashley, she's, toxic, she's toxic. Ashley, sure. you're toxic. She's the problem. Bad bunny made <laughs> bad bunny made you toxic. You Titi, stop listening to him. Hey, Titi, te preguntó. Would you let know? Novios in her case. <laughs> All right. Does true love exist, and, and is there a time frame? I I think uh, I think there's more such thing as a you live a experience with a certain amount of people with with that person through like i don't think there's no like such thing as like we're gonna be together forever maybe there is but like there is there you go but you try to you try to make the best experience with with that certain person and if you could make it last as long as it could then that's true love but if it doesn't it's a lesson that's my definition of true love Nah, 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 nah. Nah, so let, let, no, let, let me put some. I'm just kidding. Actually, put background. I gotta put background. So, me and Pepe started talking after me dating my baby mom, my girlfriend, Brittany. And we finally started talking. That was part of the cool kids. Finally. Finally. Then we partied in Santa Barbara. It was pretty cool. That was, we gotta, a, that we gotta, was, that was a good time. That we gotta run it back. And then life just took us in a different journey. But we are here for a reason because me and him. We're tra- we transition to life differently from other people, and we're able to have bigger and better conversations. And it's undeniably that I got this guy's back. So you're very vocal. I know you don't give a shit about what you say, so it's time to say To an extent. It. To an extent. To an extent. So do you believe in true love, and is there a time frame? I'm going to be honest. I haven't experienced true love. Like... Yeah. Don't fucking so, fall so, there, bro. <laughs> so I Don't can't say that I have, like, true love, you know? You want to hit the gym but at 3 in the morning? Don't fucking do it. Don't fucking do it. Stay away. Stay away. He does it. Stay away. He does it. I don't. Don't worry. <laughs> 3 a.m. I'm sleeping. No, um, I haven't, I haven't experienced true love. Like, I think I love somebody, like, straight out of high school, and we dated for maybe uh, three years, like, three and a half years. 
But uh, once it ended, like... Do you believe you have a soulmate? That's a good question that I... Do you believe soulmates exist? And if they do, why aren't you with them? I'm going to go with I... That's a that's a tough question. Hey, I'm going to take think? over. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, like, I'm not with them because there's a baby I'm mama. ready for this question. I'm, I'm going to say I'm ready for no. This one. I'm going to say no. No on soulmates. I mean, maybe it's because... I haven't like met somebody. I'm gonna say no, but I'm not saying that they don't exist. Like maybe you guys find your soulmates. You know that doesn't mean like I won't find one. But at the moment, I have not found one. So based on me not having found one yet, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with no. Okay. I'm gonna disagree. Oh. Just because. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'm not Dina. I know how to argue. No, I was kidding. <laughs> red flag. Damn, kidding. Red flag right red number flag. one. Red, red flag, flag number Genesis. one. Arguers. Red flag. <laughs> no, I believe, I do believe in soulmates. I believe soulmates come in different forms. Attraction um, at first sight. I'm sorry. I'm Attraction a hopeless. Attraction um, at first sight. I don't know about first, uh, yeah, I wouldn't believe in love in first sight. Right. But I do believe right. in true love. Um. Just because I feel like me personally, I know how to give love. I have a big heart. And I know if I'm one person and I know how to do that, I know other people are out there to do it. So me personally, I do believe in true love. I do believe that um, there's soulmates out there. Not necessarily it's going to be a partner, your significant other, but I do believe there's soulmates out there. And they come in different forms, in different relationships. You know, it can be a friendship. It can be a family member that's just like, damn, like... Yeah, like you're my soulmate because you, be yeah, like you know, and then not just that, like you know, like your souls are good, like you know, like you know when you're around good people, yeah. you know, it's just I believe it just comes in different forms. Oh, no, I did, I did so I showed you the tattoo. I did so I was like, no, damn, no, I showed you the tattoo. So I no disrespect. I'm sorry. Like, no. <laughs> so so Dylan is speaking out of out of experience. What is it? Talk to I us. I have a tattoo. Talk to us. Your parents already know a bit. No, nah, man. Your parents already know, so well, there's... No, it, Do you not. regret it? I don't regret it. I don't. So what is it? You got a girl thing? No. Fuck no. Oh, okay. Um, but, but was it with the girl? It's a, tw right? it's a, it's a twin flame. You had mentioned tattoos with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All enamorado. Yes. yes. Red flag. Red flag. Um, All right, so... Um, so... so but say something about matching tattoos. Okay, let you. Esta no se calla. <laughs> hey, you know what? I was quite those time. Um, Otra I'm reflect. sorry. I'm big on tattoos. I love tattoos. I feel like every tattoo of mine means something to me. Oh, you're. Oh, I'm live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm live um, me personally, like me and my ex, we're gonna get a matching tattoo. For me personally, it's not more of like, oh my god, like you're my soulmate. Let's get a tattoo. Me, it's like, you know what? Like as much as everything went down between us, like. I have so much love for him and like why the fact and he was just such a big part of my life and I would always love him and like we we'll always have that love for each other. Um I would love to have something that's like a forever for us, you know? And it's just like not just like, oh my god, like I'm in love with this person. It's more of like a remembrance of like what I've been through and like just I don't know, just a memory. I'm so big on like memories. Yeah, and it's like I don't ever see any like of my my lessons as lessons and more blessings in disguise, you know? And I just love, like, the remembrance of it, the symbolic of it, you know, like... You love love. Okay, I, I love love. Can I speak? Yeah. Can I speak? I don't care, I don't care oh, for love. Yeah. All right, so we, we got to give the floor to Dylan, because Dylan is not explaining oh exactly. Hey, Dylan. <laughs> yeah. Dylan Go for it, Dylan. Okay, well, Go for it. Damn, I got three followers. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, okay, so we did That's get a matching tattoo. We did get a matching tattoo, but before... We even got the tattoo. Uh, this had to mean something to me, separate than to her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, we're gonna get something. Like we're, that we're gonna, gonna but that has to mean something different for you. Uh, okay. It's not. It's not like, oh shit, we're together. We're gonna be forever because of the tattoo. No, like fuck it. Like right now, we're not together, but we still got them. And this shit means a lot to me. You know, obviously it's like, oh okay, we got one, but it's personal to me. Yes, we got it for two reasons. Well, first of all. Fire destroys a lot. But what you guys don't know is that when fire destroys, something new comes up after that. You know? Exactly. Her. The ashes. You know? 
So it's like, wow. out of ashes, something good comes out. So she got the water detector. <laughs> <laughs> she, she cancel, got each water cut, out, you know? cancel each other out. Cancel each other out. Donde había fuego, hay cenizas. Get on cenizas. And um, all I gotta do is blowing it again and it's coming back. <laughs> but it was just spontaneous as fuck. Like we were at the mall, we we're shopping, and then um, she's like, "Let's get a tattoo." I'm like, "Fuck it." And the mall was no, that's a ghetto ass fucking mall. <laughs> Who goes there? Who goes there? Oh, really? Yeah. No, you don't. It's a bro. That's been a barbershop for the last like twenty years. Yeah, for the last like well five six years. Actually, how old are you? <laughs> Anyways uh, Ashley's 21 So Yeah um, Do I believe in soulmates? Yes I do I can't get with them Because she has a baby mama But um, <laughs> No 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 That was kind of cute That was kind of cute I'm not even going to lie so, so Give me a kiss Aww. Give me a kiss <laughs> I want to go home. Hey, I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go home. I think I'm going to take you home. <laughs> ah, hey, yo. That's later, actually. There's a big truck. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big truck. There's safety. <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, who has an answer to that? Who has an answer to this question? Um, it's you, 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 bitch. Me? Fuck. True love? Yeah, I know it, it exists. Is it easy? Nah. There's a lot of there's a lot of shit that can go wrong, and everything goes wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, everything there, goes fucking wrong. There's a there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that can go wrong that you may never have anticipated it. Be, it just depends on where you're at in life. Yes. If your life is, you know, cool and not full of of adventure, of taking chances, and yeah, maybe it's gonna be fine. But when you realize that you're bigger than just what what you're doing, you find your gift, you find your calling, and you know you got to take that risk, it might bring up some issues. I mean, I'm not saying this is perfect. I'm not saying it's not going to be perfect. But there's that saying that everything that's worth it takes work. And if it was easy, anybody would have it. But true love is not easy, so not everybody has it. So it takes work. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes love, it takes patience. <laughs> a little bit a little bit cheap from now and then, you know. It takes it takes no, a little no, no. It, <laughs> no. It takes it takes a little bit of um That's a good one. <laughs> I mean I'm not I'm not supporting for you shout to cheat, out, but like shout out Oscar. It, it it takes it No fucking way. You bro. take it where you sure. get it. What the fuck did you do? She's burning herself out right now. This is this is the way this is the way we're ending the podcast. The Q and A. But look, 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 look. look. Nah, it's been a minute. She's grown. Look, we were just talking about talking about the past. Look, we're not the same person we were fifteen years ago. We're not the same motherfuckers that we were in high school. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something real quick. Let me tell you something real quick. I'm shy. Tell the camera. Don't tell me. Let me tell you something. Um, and I strongly believe this is that you don't find love. Love finds you. That's what I think. Because if you go, if you go out, yeah, you, you, you keep spitting facts out here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bugging around, but. Um, <laughs> He, he he's <laughs> spitting. He, she said who raised him. He's spitting. Es <laughs> España. I'm Sammy Splinter. Soy de España. Me llamo José. Popopte. Hostia, tío. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Please, guys, what, I, what I feel like, if you're out there looking for love, if you're out there looking for love, you're running away from love. That's what I think. I guess I'm running. Bouncing Shit, off what I'll he said. I'll be spreading that bitch, dog. You don't fucking know. I'll be. No, definitely. I feel like if you're looking for love, you don't know how to love yourself. Like, why are you looking at it for, for like, why are you out there looking for love when you shouldn't be? You know, you should love yourself. Wait, 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 wait. 
The thing about this podcast was you got to put this shit on the podcast. Yeah, my bad. Say it on the yeah. microphone. So there's a Kendrick Lamar song called Rio, and it says, what's love got to do with it if you don't love yourself? And I always, I always took that to heart. I felt like that's true. You can't love nobody else if you don't love yourself. Exactly. Shout out to Kendrick Lamar, man. That's a TikTok. <laughs> it went one, Go. two, three. That's a TikTok. That's famous. Yeah. We're saying it. But, but it's true. It's true at the end of the day. You know, yeah, you it, I mean, it's like that saying, you can't love nobody else until you love yourself. And for a lot of us and a lot of people, I've done it myself, we try to jump into another relationship trying to figure out what we were missing. And once we jump into that, we didn't fix what the fuck we were missing. We just jumped into, the, we just jumped into it Hopefully because we, it. yeah, we were hoping that they can fix it. In reality, they can they can't fix us. We still and, um, hurt, bro. We still yeah. hurting. It's a you thing. It's me. And unfortunately, unable to, for you to learn to love yourself, you gotta sit with yourself through the ugly. Ooh. You a have like a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people can't You're sit with themselves. <laughs> and like, and honest, it's hard. It's hard. I mean, this week I had to sit by myself, and like, I was crying, and I was like, it got to a point where I there was this TikToker who was like. When you sit in the ugly, you literally have to ask yourself, okay, what do you feel? And she goes off, made a list, and it went something like, I feel resentful. Why do you feel resentful? I feel resentful because of this person did X, Y, and Z. And now I'm bitter. Why am I bitter? It's like you have to really sit with yourself and ask yourself. Because at the end of the day, you only know your own answers. Like, you only know what you're thinking. You only know how you feel. So... To love yourself, you have to sit with yourself in the ugly and ask yourself some real questions and answer them. You gotta sit Definitely. in the you gotta sit in the dark to know what light is gonna look like. If you don't sit in that dark by yourself, no one's gonna save you. I can take you into the light and you don't even know what that looks like because your eyes are gonna be closed until you're fucking until you sit by yourself. You know you know how that's gonna feel. You know how that's gonna be, and when you're ready. You'll come into the light. Until then, you're gonna be going. You gotta into work the light. on yourself. Once you work on yourself, worry about yourself, things start falling into place, and the right yeah. people start coming into your life, and just take you're, it out from there. You're your worst enemy, and um, you block your own blessings. At the end of the day, yeah. you do, and that's what I'm learning. Like removing Ooh. a lot of like oh. um, just toxic peop- people, blocking toxic. like yeah, just not taking out a lot of toxic people in my life. Realizing like. Hey, this is happening because of you. Like, you, your own fault. Like, let's be real. You sometimes th- stop living your own life to make another person happy. And yes. that's just not cool. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck we're doing. All right. So, we, if you hung on this on to a Q&A, if you like this, fucking comment, subscribe, share it. Because we draw some gems. And we're going to finish this off with life quotes that we individually resent with. So, Genesis, you got one. I do. All right, Genesis, what is it? Let's run it. I want to say this is my favorite quote, but this is definitely a quote I've been living off this year. It was from this psychologist that um, preached at the church I go to. And it was where I was dealing with a lot of trauma at the time, like childhood trauma and like just family relationship wise. And she said, it's not your fault, but it's your responsibility to fix it. Based off that, it was more like, um, I was going through a lot of family stuff at the time. And she, it was more of like, it's not, my, it's not my fault that my parents raised me the way they did, but it's not my time to fix it. You know, realizing like, hey, they were only given the tools that they were allowed, that they were given, you know, so they only did so much with the tools they did. But now it's our chance to go and fix it and, like, be better and do better. And that's what I personally been living off this year with, was it's not my fault. And I feel like a lot of us carry that, like, oh, you know, like, it's my, res- it's like, way. you know, that's, yeah, it's my fault. Like, you know, this is the way I was raised. But it's not your fault. Like, be different. Be different. Be different. Yeah, it's up to you to fix Create it. So, yeah. exactly. Create your own journey. Yeah. Shit, I don't know. I don't even think it's inspirational. It's just for all the motherfuckers that like to make money out there. I was watching this movie. I forgot. It's a uh, oh, it's War Dogs. I don't know if you guys seen it before. Yeah. In the beginning, literally the first thing is just like it says, "All the money is made between the lines." And you can apply that to life too, because there's very 
big picture stuff in life and there's very small picture stuff in life. But it, if you don't get caught up in those two things, you can make it by yourself, alone. And you make it in good, you know? And obviously, money comes and goes, bro, no matter what. You just got to fucking live. I don't know. That was not a fucking quote, but I just made it a fucking quote. But my boy's got a good one. Oscar? Ah, uh, shit. Well, I have two. I have two. Uh, first one is, don't be the chaser when you're the tequila. <laughs> And I no, guess the second the one. Don't be the chaser when you're the tequila. Yeah. Put yeah. yourself put yourself first. And the second one, I guess, just uh, it's too much money in the world to be broke. So yeah. <laughs> Double mic. Yo. Give me your. I'm just kidding. Her mic. Whoa. Wait, I got that hey. wrong. That took me a minute to. Like, what? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little slow. Yeah, I'm so confused. Never mind. You, Sorry, did, you didn't get the okay. joke. You didn't get the joke. Um. Okay. So my favorite quote, or like probably the one that I like, feel like I've lived by for like the last couple of years, is no rain, no flowers. So, like, it has to rain in order for things to bloom, right? Mm. So, you have to go through the hard for it to get better. So, yeah. No rain, no flowers. I like that. I have it on my wall. I read it on my calendar. I used to have it as my screensaver forever because it was literally, like, but now it's just, like, so embedded in me that I'm, like, whatever I'm going through right now, it's just, it's not going to last because the rain doesn't last forever. Something's going to bloom out of this. So, yep. I, I like that. I like that. So I actually pulled mine up because I don't really want to mess it up. But, <laughs> but, but it comes down to what I said earlier. It's okay to put yourself first. So I'm going to read it. If you don't put yourself first, you are letting the world know you can wait and you will wait. Because each time you put someone else's happiness before your own, you drop yourself down a place until you are last. So pretty much put yourself first. Ooh, okay. It's okay to put yourself okay. first. So that's why I chose mine. I didn't want to butcher it. It's Oscar Wilde. Didn't want to mess it up. But, um, <laughs> hey, no, um, bringing it back to like the beginning of the podcast, I think it ties perfectly to what I said. Like I started putting myself first and once I started putting myself first, things changed for me and then things changed for me means that I can, I guess, change my family's life altogether. So it's okay to put yourself first sometimes because you never know what may arise from you being selfish sometimes. It's okay to... Be slightly selfish. Yeah, yeah. Wise, wise words from it. Popote. Fucking pepino, dog. Pepino, popote. Nah, that's, that's, that is, is nah, that, that, that is coming from Jose. Um, you know, using his real name because he is a real deal, dog. Like, you guys don't know him outside of this besides today, but... I know him outside of this, and Jose is one of those dudes that has been very sincere to everybody around him. And I am glad that he's becoming selfish because he's putting himself first. And what your quote just said, if you put your, if you don't mind it, you're going to put yourself last. Hey, I mind. I really mind it. I'm going to put myself first. So... With everything that just happened, all these quotes that we just did, all these quotes that we just said, you know, I want everybody, hopefully you take at least one out of the five that ju- that, that were just said. Whatever resents with you best, whatever resents with you at that moment in your life, you got to do it. Don't be afraid to be yourself and don't be afraid to be authentically yourself. Whoever you got to lose along the way, it is what it is. They just weren't meant to be around your life when you're making that transition. So with all that being said, be you, be true. Don't be afraid. Whatever obstacles come your way, it is what it is. Be happy. Stand your stand your ground, 10 toes on the floor, and keep moving forward. Life is life, and it's going to be what it's going to be. That's the podcast, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs>